Hey guys, it's Paul here, and today I want to talk about things you should not be doing on your pharmacy rotations. So a lot of these things are going to be things that I've seen and encountered over the years, as well as stories people have told me. So I can share with you so you don't make that same mistake when you're on your pharmacy rotations. Some of these are common sense, and it's just unbelievable that these things have happened. They've actually happened, and they're... <laughs> It's, so comment below on anything that you as a preceptor or you have heard as through your professors or work or as a student any stories of ridiculous things that students have done on rotations and what you should not do so let's first start off with when you first come into a rotation you should not be demanding what the rotation is going to be about you can't just demand hey I want this I want this I want to learn this that's setting a wrong impression to your preceptor uh, and you're trying to make the rules and it's you're the one that should be appreciating the preceptor's time and learning from them and not trying to set rules so that's number one so let's go to the next one there have been students I hear that set their own schedule they tell the preceptor hey you know what I'm going to be off on this day and I can't work these days and I can only do these shifts. You know, that's just ridiculous. You are there to learn and you can't just set your schedule based on whatever your what's convenient for you. Okay, so the preceptor majority of the time is doing this for free. They're teaching you for free and so you need to be appreciative of what they have to offer you and what you're doing there to learn, right? So you shouldn't be trying to make demands right away and setting your own schedule. That's ridiculous. And some have even said, well, I don't do projects. That's, I have family time at home. I can't do projects. <laughs> How does that look to anyone you want to work with and how is that going to impress them if you say that? I mean, that's just, just boggles my mind, honestly. All right, so the next one is appearance. Okay, so obviously you don't want to show up uh, to your rotation in street clothes or something. You want to be business casual and professional. You know, there have been students that show up in street clothes or even it looks like maybe they went out to the club, you know, and came into the work next day. You know, they're showing too much cleavage, they're wearing a short skirt or something like that. You know, there will be guys that look at you at work and not in the way you want them to look at you. And they're not going to take you seriously because uh, you're not professionally dressed. And especially other females, no one will take you seriously. So just dress professionally and don't show too much cleavage and uh, make sure your skirt is at least professionally <laughs> at a professional length and not too short so next one let's see sometimes students come to their rotation socializing the entire time and not really getting any work done you know yeah some people that you don't work directly with will like socializing with you and think that you're awesome but then there's going to be the people that work directly with you and they notice that you're not really getting anything done and so rumors will spread your reputation will spread around that you're a lazy person and so they don't want to work with you and eventually you know that's not going to look good even though you're socializing and networking you have to get stuff done so okay let's move on to the next one here there are students that will say, I can't do that. I don't know. I can't do that. Well, that's not a good answer. You know, you have to say, you know, I don't know that. I can look it up. Let me find out. I'll get back to you. And you always have to follow through. If you just say that and not follow through then, and follow up with your preceptor, that looks bad too because you're just saying what they want to hear, but you're not actually following through. You know, preceptors will remember that. Let's see. And there are students that will talk back to the preceptor. 
you know, and have a bad attitude, right? That is not okay. You, again, like I've said, the preceptor's there to give you your them your time, uh, their time for free, and so you need to respect that. And so talking back to a preceptor will just make them upset and not want to help you. And on top of that, you might fail the course or the, the rotation. And also you will be blacklisted from working there because they will definitely tell their manager not to hire you if you have a really bad attitude and you talk back to them. So the only time where I say, you know, you want to really voice your opinion is if the preceptor is wrong and it's going to harm the patient. Obviously, you want to step up and say, hey, you know, I don't think that's right. Uh, you know, I found this information here. What do you think? Don't say it, hey, you're wrong, because that might, they might take it in the wrong way uh, and they might be offended, and that's not good either. So as a student, you just have to play by the rules and, and eventually, you know, you'll get there. So... <laughs> All right, let's see. The next one is not improving over time. So there's students that show up on the first day and they leave on the last day knowing the exact same thing they came in and didn't really improve. Those are horrible students because you need to show some progression on your rotation to show their preceptor that yeah, you're learning and yeah, you're gonna be a better pharmacist after your time there. I mean, if you haven't shown improvement in 30 to 45 days, that's pretty bad. So, let's go to the next one here. Uh, that's pretty much, the other one is, uh, there are students who get really defensive and upset when you give them constructive criticism. And obviously, you know, as a student, you need to listen to your preceptor and take what it is that they say. And even if you don't agree with it, you just thank them for their time and you will say, yeah, I'll work on that, I'll improve on that. You know, don't talk back to the preceptor. That's not really going to solve anything and it's not going to help you in any way. And there's students who just don't show up. They don't show up to the rotation, they don't call, they don't say anything. That looks pretty horrible as well. Uh, make sure, you know, if you're sick or you have a family emergency, call and let them know uh, what happened to you. And also follow up with making sure you make up the days somehow, like you will work the weekend or whatever, to make up the days. Don't just brush it off and assume that you don't have to make up days. That looks bad on your part as well. So. All right, well, that's basically a lot of the things that I've heard. You know, there's a lot of different stories of ridiculous things that people have done. Uh, but I'm just not going to, there's too many to really share. And it might, I don't want to reveal anyone who might get embarrassed too much. And then just comment below on anything that you've heard or any suggestions you would have for students in the future. If you're new to this channel, Consider subscribing for more tips on life, finance, what it's like to be a pharmacist, and pharmacy school. Thanks for watching. See you guys next time. And remember, eat your vegetables.